Welcome to our beginner core and pelvic floor workout. Uh, this is something that is sure to activate and make your core stronger internally. Um, pelvic floor is a stretch of muscles uh, in the pelvic area, kind of looking like a hammock, attaching to both sides and to the tailbone. Um, something really important to uh, increase in strength because it can decrease lower back pain, hip pain, uh, and just create that cr stronger core and posture and improve uh, bowel and bladder control um, overall. So that's what we're going to work on today. It is beginner. Uh, you'll see another episode coming out uh, in a week or two um, about a more intermediate advanced option. But today we're just beginner. Both are um, something you want to do daily. So uh, I'll go over the reps and you'll see it in the description on our YouTube channel because um, some are holds and some are actual reps. So paying attention to those and taking your time. If you have any sort of pain, please stop doing the activity or you can go ahead and modify. I'll show some options throughout the video today um, of some modifications. All right, so we're gonna, if you have a mat and have an open space, we're gonna go ahead and start on our backs. And as you can see, I am pregnant. So a lot of these things I will be modifying, but I will cue those um, intermediate or advanced options as well. All right, so if you're on your back, we're gonna go into a tabletop. So this one is just a hold, and your arms are at your side. You can slowly pick one leg up at a time, and then go ahead and follow with the other. You want a flexed foot in 90 degrees from the ankle to the knee, and then the knee to the hip. So 90 here and 90 here. Um, to activate that core, making sure that you don't have a curved spine, see I can stick my fingers through here, you want to press that low back to the mat, keep those shoulder blades grounded, and keep those knees right above the hips. Now we're just going to hold for 30 seconds. Most importantly, you're breathing. And a deep inhale through the nose and open mouth, exhale. Try to hold as long as you can in that 30 seconds. Five, four, three, two, slowly lower down and alleviate pressure off of the spine. Next, we're gonna do a dead bug, oh, or sorry, marching and then dead bug. So marching is very similar to the tabletop, except we're gonna go ahead and add some movement. So this one has 15 reps each side, bringing yourself back up to that tabletop position. And now here I'll show you those two progressions. So um, we're gonna, the marching looks like this. However, if you need a little bit more of a challenge, you can bring that leg lower down and actually tap the floor. And just being careful, again, that that low back does not come off the mat. You're pressing down and really squeezing that core. If you see any sort of doming here, um, I would say modify. Uh, we don't want to damage the core anymore. All right, so we have 15 reps each leg, so 30 total. Ready? Here we go. Exhale in the pull, inhale in the drop. Bring it right back above the hip. Keep going here. Last two. And relax. Good. All right, now into those dead, dead bug pulses. So this is the exercise prior to an advanced dead bug. So the pulses, you're gonna hold for increments of three or however long you can, up to 30 seconds and then release. And we're gonna do that three times obviously through as we go through each circuit. So you're gonna bring yourself to a tabletop again and you're gonna place your arms or your hands, sorry, on those knees. So making sure you have proper position, that low back push down, core is engaged, 
palms here and nice deep inhale and exhale knees push towards the hands and your hands push towards the knees good then on that pulse you're going to release and press again release and press again release press again release last time and release nice job so you can kind of shake out the legs a little bit, a little bit. you're probably going to feel some in the quads and those hip flexors those are assisting um, give the um, back a little rest here if you need to so we're going to work the posterior chain so it's going to be the low back and the glutes also super important in the pelvic floor um, core here it's back there glutes head all right we have 15 reps for this one you're going to bring your heels into the mat arms at your side dig those shoulder blades in you're going to do a nice deep inhale at the bottom and exhale press the hips up through the sky squeezing those glute muscles and elongating the low back bring it back down to the mat for a total of one so exhale lift inhale down for two three Keep it going. Five more, we're at ten. Two. Last one. And relax. Good. Again, you felt that stretch in the low back. You felt those glutes engage. All right, next we have flower petals. So you're keeping your feet grounded like we just were. Um, arms can come about 45 degrees. What we're going to do is, I believe it's 10 each side. Here, all you're going to do is drop one leg, pull it back in, and then drop the other, bring it back in, and then all together, both legs come down, and then pull. So one thing, this is, might look super easy because you're just moving the legs. you got to remember, each time you bring that leg up, squeeze that core, and bring yourself to the mat. Repeat. And each time you exhale and bring that leg in, you are squeezing. All right, let's go ahead and get started. 10 each leg, 20 total. Inhale, drop the left. Exhale, squeeze. Pull together. A total of six, kind of going to 20. Squeeze, squeeze, inhale, exhale, engage. Eight. Halfway. You can go at a pace you're comfortable with. This is too fast. Slow it down. Pause the video. Fourteen. Pull together. Good. One more each leg. Good, and release. All right, so 10 each like that. All right, we have seated marches with a kick. So I'm gonna go ahead and move, move this over here. So you can use a stability ball for this. So 
I like um, a chair, a couch, as long as you're 90, the positioning is good and your feet are grounded here. So you want to get right on the edge of the seat or like in the center of the ball. The ball's going to be a little bit more challenging due to, to it not being sturdy. Okay, really keep that core engaged. Lift the chest, elongate through the rib cage, drop those shoulders down. All we're going to do is lift the right leg up, do a small extension, curl back, and then drop it down. So again, left leg lift, extension, in and down. So I may feel like a lot in the quad or hip flexor right away. So don't just let your whole body slouch. Really lift up and squeeze that core. As soon as that leg kicks out, that's a lot more weight on the core. So you like to squeeze. At six, going to 20, 10 each leg. I like to kind of hold here, make sure my core is staying engaged. It's kind of hard to tell right now, but as best I can. Good. 11. Again, my night might look as high. I'm a little limited on my range of motion. Um, but I do encourage you to get that leg up as high as you can and extend. Keeping that height there on the extension. Good, last two. Starting to lean back a little bit. Gotta bring it back. And relax, nice job. Alright, bring it back over here. Alright, grab your plane position. Alright, so you're going to bring it to your side here. So the space needs for both of these. We have adductions. So I'm working those, that hip area, strengthening it around that area because it's also where the pelvic floor attaches. So you're going to stack your knees. You can use your top hand as support. Um, and we're going to go ahead and keep the heels together, the feet together. We have about 45 degrees in the knees. I'm tapping that a little bit more if I need to. We're going to do uh, that top leg as an adduction. So you're going to lift up and bring it back. Exhale, lift. Inhale, down. One tip here, so make sure you're not moving that core, this hip region. You're just moving it right in that socket here. Okay, keep going. I'm going to give myself a little break. Going all the way to 25 on each side. Always engaging that core, pulling in. Four. Two. And last one. Good. Rolling over to the other side. I'm just going to switch around here. All right, 25. On this side, in position, ready, and here we go. Again, trying to get that full range of motion. Keep it going. Five more. Last one. Good. And relax. 
Next is a supported sit up. So I'll bring you over here. Show you from the side. All right, so again, a stability ball is a great option here. However, I do not have one at home. So a couch is next best, best option. So for this, you wanna find a good angle away from the couch that when you lean back, there isn't any pain in the low back and there's no doming in the core. So this is a modified option for a setup and great if you have a, you know, you're just beginning in your core routine and your core strength. So um, this is perfect for me as much as I can do. Um, so again, I'll be limited on my setup position, but I can definitely help you out with those options. So again, you're gonna have that ball against the wall as that option or your shoulder blades are on the edge of the couch. If you have the ball, that ball will be on the small of the back, so that lower back area, somewhat coming up to your shoulder blades. So you have the option to kind of prop the arms here. I'm gonna keep mine grounded, that is also an option. Your chin is away from the chest. All you're gonna do is you're gonna activate that core and act to lift up to a seated position, nice and straight. Try not, if your arms are down, just try not to utilize that as a push off or that momentum. So we have a total of eight. Exhale on the lift, ready, and go. Come back down lightly and slowly. That eccentric movement is just as important. Try not to rest into that ball or that couch. You're just tapping, resetting, and coming back up. So last two. And relax. All right, so that concludes our episode one of our core and pelvic floor workout. Uh, we're gonna do this two more times uh, all the way through. And again, the reps are listed throughout. Good luck.